All right, we're going to talk about converter clutches here. Basically, single disc, double disc, triple disc, and what uh, people are calling a four disc converter. So, here's how a single disc converter works. This is a, the converter clutch plate. One single lining on it. This is splined to the turbine. The turbine is splined to your input shaft. So when this is lined to the turbine, oil fills the converter through a hollow input shaft, which is not in here, but the oil comes up, fills the converter, gets between the converter clutch and the front cover that is bolted to your engine. And you can see that we've got a little clearance here. So this is independent of the cover. All right, the, uh, when the converter is unlocked, oil fills between the cover and the piston. When it's locked, this drains away. Oil fills from the backside, pushes this up against the cover, and locks the two pieces together. Now we're going to go to a double disc. This was a single disc. I'm going to show you a double disc. Okay, this is a Ford double disc. It's a factory double disc. Um, Someone has modified this, but uh, at the beginning here, I'm just going to show you how the double disc works. This is the front cover. This is your clutch disc. It splines right here to the turbine. The cover drives this lining, which drives this, and in turn drives the turbine. There's another lining on the back side and when this floater plate installs, now I have the cover driving the floater plate which in turn drives this so I have two linings being driven. And this is the piston. This piston is not splined to anything. It does not have any splines here. It does not have any splines here. So the piston goes in like that, and all it is there for is to force the clutch on. Some people sell this as a triple disc. It is not a triple disc. This floater plate does have a lining here, but it is not effective. If I put this on here, you can see that if I turn that, that whole thing spins independent of that turbine, so it's not connected at all to the input shaft. So when you see a converter like this, and uh, they'll get sold for about, uh, you know, in the range of $600, and sold as a triple disc, but it is a double disc. There, you can't turn this into a triple disc unless you would spline this here and let it float up and down. Okay, I said before that this double disc set up from Ford, some people are modifying it and uh, using it for a Dodge transmission to go behind a Cummins. And again, it is a double disc, not a triple disc. And also you can see the diameter difference. This is a single disc. This is the Ford double disc. You can see how much smaller diameter it is. And here is a comparison to the linings that we would use in some of our triple disc converters. And you can see the diameter difference there also. So although you are going from a single disc to a two disc or a double disc you are uh, gaining some by having two discs but you're losing some with the smaller diameter the damper is a much smaller damper also and uh, when you compare it to a three disc converter there just isn't any comparison okay now I'm gonna go to a three disc converter just happens to be one of ours. I've got again our splines that spline to here. 
That's the billet piston. So I'll just load this. Here I have this lining is driving my piston. You see when I move that, see how both of them turn? So this lining gets driven by the cover. This lining gets driven by the cover through these notches. And then the lining drives this, which this again drives this. So there's two linings. One, two, and then the cover in turn drives this again, and this lining drives this, so that's your third lining. So that's a three disc. The four disc, which is actually not a, you do not have four driving discs. It's just like a three disc. We'll put the three disc right beside the four disc. my three disc. My first lining goes down into the cover. On the on this converter, my first lining down into the cover inside spline, just like this one's inside spline. This one has a second lining here. This one has the second lining here. That's the drive plate. This is the drive plate for this one. So now I have two linings here. I have this one and this one. This is driving this lining. When this splines in, then the cover drives this and this drives this side of the line. This one here is my last lining gets driven by the cover, drives this, drives this lining, then this one drives this. So there's my third lining. My fourth lining is inactive because it is splined to this. So it's basically just a thicker piston. This lining cannot do anything because it's splined to this already. So it doesn't matter if you have this lining on there or not. It is a three disc, not a four disc. And of course, this one splines onto here. Um, the other thing is, this does not have a damper. Um, of course, it's a little more expensive to uh, build in with a damper. We kind of like dampers. So, that's a short little video on uh, single, double, triple, and, uh, and this converter over here.